everyone. I hope you are having a great week. Um, I wanted to come on here and take a quick moment to talk to you guys about something that um, I was reading a lot about in your critical reflection papers. Um, this notion and, and idea of couples counseling during um, an abusive relationship or while someone is in an abusive relationship. So one of the things that I quickly learned when I was working at a domestic violence agency is um, couples counseling is not a safe or good option for couples who particularly where one is an abusive. Let me preface that by saying couples counseling for a healthy relationship is wonderful. Couples counseling where there is abuse going on in a relationship is not good at all. And let me tell you a little bit about why. Um, when you go into a counseling session, that is designed to be, it's supposed to be, a very safe space. And so as a counselor, um, you want to create an environment for your clients that um, is confidential and where they feel safe to share some of their experiences and some of um, their stories. When you have an abusive relationship, there is the creation of this false sense of security. So a counselor is going to create a safe space, but it will not be a safe space for the victim. So the victim is, may um, come forward and share some of her experiences. She may share um, her feelings and her thoughts, but with her abuser in that room, um, I don't know the statistic for it, but it is um, could be very dangerous for her later on when they get home. So she will have to pay for some of her comments um, that she made in counseling once they get home. So I have had many women um, who in a group, when I, when I facilitated group support groups for women, who have said, we tried counseling and anytime I would speak up or say something about how I felt, Later on, when we got home, I would pay for it. So again, um, couples counseling creates, with an abusive relationship, creates this false sense of security, this false sense of safety for the victim. And she or he may share um, and open up and then um, they end up paying for it later, whether that's you know, verbal abuse or physical abuse or sexual abuse. Um, it usually is not a, a safe environment for a victim. Now that isn't to say that you could have um, you know, separate counseling for each of them would be an option. So there, there's, there's a couple of options and we'll talk about it when we talk about um, perpetrators or abusers in the coming weeks for how they can get help. But couples counseling is not a good option for couples who are in an abusive relationship to go through. And so I wanted to make sure to clarify that for you guys so that you understood some of the reasonings for it. So I hope you all have a great week and I look forward to hearing and talking with you more. Thanks. Bye.